Okay. So, so again, you just spoke about the, 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 the love that you, Pac, Stretch had. And, and you're like, Stretch and Pac was like this. Where did it go left? Um, how, how did that relationship break down? After, after quad, after the quad shooting. Okay. That, that's when it went, because well, they felt, he felt like, there's a few things that was said. The first thing is after Pot got locked up, Stretch was there at that hotel. Stretch had left, right? Because he's always with Pac. They was writing rounds together, th looking through beats and listening to beats, everything. After the quad shooting, Pac felt the way because he said that Stretch and Madge and them didn't come see him when he was locked up. But they couldn't come see him because you had to have an ID, and he ain't had no ID. All right, he's a convicted mm. felon. He couldn't come up there to see Pac anyway. He had no ID. That's number one. And then number two, they were friends. The friendship and that bond was B.I., God rest his soul, Stretch and Pac, they were all cool, bro. Like, you've seen the documentaries on Tupac and Biggie. These dudes, were they were tight. So you can't ask somebody to pick a side when you know that what happened to you did not come from that person. You know Big had nothing to do with that. Big actually went back into the studio and got your gun from in the piano that they hit it and put it in his waistband and walked out with all of those cops out there with a gun in his waist, your gun in his waist. You knew that that did not come from B.I. So you asked the stretch to choose a sign. And he's like, you my man, and he's my man. You know where this came from. You know who you was messing with that we kept telling you not to mess with. So you know where it came from, bro. So why are you, why are you wilding? But once Pac got into wilding, there was no holding him back. There's no holding him back, even with a guy who's his brother, who he knows, meaning Stretch. Stretch was and there big. with him. And Biggie. And, and Biggie. But, but I'm saying, when, when Stretch, when Pac got shot, wasn't Stretch standing next to him? Well, they he got, they laid him down. Yeah, they laid Stretch down, too. He was with him. Mm -hmm. So he just felt like, look, it's either you going to ride with me, or, or you, you gonna ride either with you, you, you got to understand it. That really, that stuff didn't really come out and really manifest itself crazy until that Vibe magazine interview, and then when when Suge Knight put the battery in his back. That's when it really started going. So he wasn't dealing with none, nobody from the East Coast, nobody. And it wasn't long. When did the, the quad uh, studio shoot happen? 94? Like 94. He was, he was in jail in 95. Then they got him out, right? And then uh, Stretch got killed not too long after that. Mm. And did Tupac go to Stretch's funeral? No. And that's when him and I had a problem. Because we're both, we are both godfathers to his daughter. We're godfathers to his daughter. And no matter what happens, the one thing that I learned about is respect. There's a moral code, right? You can see, if, you, if you're a fan of movies, you watch a godfather like me, the dudes that set Don Corleone up came to his funeral. Mm -hmm. Stretch mm -hmm. ain't have nothing to do with what happened to you in, in a quad studio. That was your man. You could have showed up at his funeral. You should have showed up and just paid your respects. Or even if you wasn't coming, you could have sent something to let everybody know that you felt a certain way about this man who was really kind of responsible for holding you down in New York for a long time because of the amount of respect that street dudes in New York had for Stretch. You know what I mean? They knew, they knew where that dude came from. They knew his pedigree. They knew that cat would bust his guns when it was necessary. They knew that. So you running around with Stretch was like, yo, they can't touch that kid. He with, he with the young guns. He with them Queens dudes. Them dudes is ill. That's stretching a man, you know? Mm -hmm. The same way he had that pass in New Jersey because of Tretch. When Pac went to East Orange and all that Newark, they knew not to touch him because that's Tretch's man. The same way when I was in Jersey and I'm running down there with the double eye crew, cats down there knew I was untouchable because I'm Tretch's man. I'm on their block. I'm chilling. I'm with facing all of them. 
They knew dudes around there was like, nah, Ed, y'all don't mess with Ed, bro. Ed's untouchable. That's Tretch and that's Tretch man. You know what I mean? And from Tretch, you meet other dudes. You meet dudes, shot callers in Newark and all that that love Tretch and love Naughty and love Latifah and love all of them. Nah, I walk through Newark, New Jersey, downtown, shop, do whatever I want to do. Go buy weed. If I wanted some weed at the time, I was untouchable because of the love that them cats had for Naughty coming up. Mm -hmm. They love La, don't get me wrong, they love La Tifa, but Nordy was gritty, grimy, Nort, East Orange. So them dudes had a lot of respect for these dudes that, that came up out of that. So that's the same way they treated Tupac. And Tupac was cool. Tupac was never on no I'm Tupac. He came around and showed everybody love the same way I do. If I'm in the store and there's a bunch of little kids in the store, they go, I'm going to put my money, I'll get what I want, I'm going to pay for what they want. You know what I mean? We, we all on the block. So the same love they have for me, the same love Tupac got shown all around, especially in Queens, New York, because that was, that was Stretch's man. Same love I got shown. It was just all love, bro. So he could have he and he should have shown up to Stretch's funeral. Did Stretch being killed, did it ever come out the why? Did it have anything to do nah, with this? No, it, that was different beef, bro. That's a, that's a totally different beef. That's some Queens street beef. They ain't had nothing to, they ain't had nothing to do with, with Tupac. Nothing. Got you. And did, did you ever get a chance to talk to... I mean, Pac is your man. Now, you talk. You, you, did you ever... You, so you got a chance to confront him? Like, how could you not yeah. come to stretch his funeral? I, I, yeah. and you, the, you the godfather to his yeah. child? Yeah. I'm going to tell you one thing that... Uh, that um, Suge Knight told me one time. When I was living in L.A. at the time, and a young lady that I was real close with was close with Suge, so I used to go up to go up to death row offices all the time. This is on the waning side of death row. This is probably like '99, early 2000s, wasn't really cracking like that. And I remember he having he had a uh, he had a boat, and he had like this. I think it was Labor Day or something like that. I was there, a Labor Day boat ride party, and I'm on the boat with him, and he tapped me, and he go, "You know why I always loved you." And I was like, why? He said, because you, you carry yourself as a man. You're a man. You don't do the rah-rah thing. You came right in the middle of us at the MTV Video Music Awards and screamed on Tupac about not coming to Stretch's funeral, knowing that we could have jumped on you and whooped your ass right there. And a bunch of us wanted, a bunch of dudes wanted to, but I held them off because you came at him like a man. And I told them, I said, yo, bro, that's fucked up. You didn't come to your, you didn't come to our man's funeral. Like, like who does that, bro? What did he ever do to you? Like, mm. that's whack. That's whack for you not to show up to homeboy funeral. We love that dude. That dude loved you. Like for real, for real. Like you playing this game right here, and this shit is dangerous. This is a dangerous game you playing. Cause these dudes, not you, not the same dudes. These dudes are. Mm -hmm. You're not. You're an artist. You ain't the same dudes these dudes are, dog. You're running with killers. It's different. 